Hey everyone, it's Lisa. We have so much to talk about today. I have lots of things that I wanna kinda of report back to you on. And let's just start with that. Let's just start with maybe, oh gosh, I've got everything tangled up here. The Harry Josh blow dryer. What I'm gonna do is use the same products for an entire week, which would mean two to three times, and then report back to you and then go on to the next set of products. So I will put the products that I've been using up here. It was a prescription given to me by one of my friends that does hair in California. And I have loved, absolutely loved the R&Co shampoo and conditioner. That is so moisturizing. I have that feeling when I get through conditioning my hair where it's still in there a little bit. And I love that. That's the way it should feel. She likes Colleen's oil. I like using a heavier oil when my hair is wet. And then I've been using the other r Co product that you will see in there. That is great for like body. Like you can still see where my Velcro roller was. I think I still prefer the mousse to that, the Kenra mousse but next week we'll go on to some other products and I'm gonna show you some new ones I have here. Now back to this blow dryer, so good. I mean, this is like a little machine. It's not extremely heavy, but it's not extremely light. It reminds me a lot of the Elkim and I always love that one. It's almost like you can just feel the motor in this. It's kind of like a muscle car. The only thing that I don't care for is that the cool button is on the front and it's one of those where you accidentally hit it. Now that's something that if this is your only blow dryer that you use, you may get used to that and may not have that issue. I am someone that does not like that, but it's not like I'm gonna get rid of it and I'm gonna keep on using it and see if that continues to bother me. I don't remember that bothering me that much the first time I used it, but last night I kept hitting the cool button. So, that is how I feel about that. Probably one of the biggest stars, best thing I have gotten in a long, long time, and I bought it by accident, is this little Tory Burch bucket bag. If you watch that video, I will put the link up here. I purchased four Tory Burch bags. It started with wanting to buy my mom one for Christmas, so she picked one out. I already had two on my mind, so I went ahead and ordered those, and I accidentally ordered her the small bucket bag. So then I went back and I ordered her the large one. She loves hers, and I love this one. I like this so much better than the other two that I ended up ordering. The wallet on a chain is literally a wallet on the chain, and don't expect much more. The other one that has a beautiful gold chain on it is really pretty, it is really dressy, and it's very stiff. This bag is phenomenal. I love like the little top handle. I use that all the time. You can still do it crossbody, and it is just open and so easy to get in and out of no matter where you are, in the car, at the nail salon, wherever. It's very easy, and I love this about it see how it's got an oval bottom instead of a round bottom so it's very see how it's still very slim line to be a bucket bag so it's almost like everything you would love about a bucket bag but none of the things that you don't now if you wanted to close it it does close and i just think it's beautiful so this has been number one it's one of those bags kind of like my nikki bag from saint laurent i don't want to get out of it or the Chanel 19. It's one of those bags that is so user-friendly that even when you think about switching to another bag, you're not inclined to do it because you love that one so much. Okay, I know that there is something else. Oh, another good one, hold on. These sneakers. These are the On Cloud sneakers I ordered to walk in. When I first got them, I thought, gosh, you know, they're really pretty. I love the color. It's like the light lavender, but these are not sexy tennis shoes, like the New Balance or the Rag and Bone, or even as stylish as like the Gucci, the other tennis shoes that I have. But I tried these on and I could not believe how comfortable they are. Then yesterday, Will and I went for a walk and I love them. Here's what I like about them the most. When you go to put them on, you just slip them on. It's not something that you have to sit down to put on. It's not something that you, Gosh, I thought the tongue would have been attached because 
I can put these on without even bending over, just slipping my foot in them. You don't have to tie them. It's like all these things that I hate about sneakers and lots, lots of room in the toe box. Like when I was walking, I kind of noticed that, how comfortable they are. They are like walking on a cloud. I see that now. And I just love them. Light as a feather. Cannot say enough good about this. Not something that I would want to wear every day just because they're not, it's not my style. But for what I got them for, they are perfection. I'm so happy to report back that this laundry detergent is amazing. This is the first laundry detergent, like I have bought the Glamorous Wash and just many others that are scented and you, it just, you have this fantasy that you're gonna love it and then it's just overpowering. You feel like it's going to break you out. It's just way too much. This is the prettiest, lightest fragrance. It is gorgeous. I love it. And I, it's magnolia, bergamot, and cedar. Let's see, and you only use, it comes with a little cup, but I pretty much know now how much to pour in there. Our low water, hyper-concentrated formula requires less than two teaspoons per standard load. It is just beautiful. I, I really love it. You know that I love the laundry. I love doing my laundry. I mean, I don't know what it is. It's like a thing. I don't let it back up and I enjoy doing it. So I've always been intrigued by different laundry products. And like I said, every time I've tried something like this, it was just too much. Matter of fact, the last one I had ordered, I can't even remember what it was, but I remember I would just use it when I washed like Bridget, our dog that passed away. I would wash her blankets and everything because it smelled so good. And even then I would only use a little bit, but this is worth trying. Okay, I think that's all of my updates. So let's go on to some new products. This isn't very new, but it's something I just got. It's the OC Andaria Algae Body Oil. The OC Body Oil. Thank you so much. Many of you messaged me on Instagram that they had this half off at Ulta. It's one of their specials. You know how they'll do the 21 days of beauty or, you know, all the deals that they do. And this was on special for half off. I love it. I love it. I had already bought a bottle. The first bottle I went breezed right through. I bought a bottle and I've had it under my sink because I'm kind of trying to go through, I think I'm using the Necessaire oil right now. And what I do is mix it in with my body lotion. Then I've got an Orbe hair and body oil that I want to try to use. And last night I just said, you know what? Life is short. I'm gonna go ahead and get my OC oil out. And that's what I did. This smells so good. It's very spa-like. The Necessaire oil is fragrance-free if you want that. I haven't smelled the Orbe, but I can pretty much imagine what that's gonna smell like. But this is more of that spa, earthy, good smell. It doesn't linger. I love it. So if you get a chance to try this, please do. It's so good. Now, Huda Beauty. I don't know who. Oh, I know. That. Okay, a lot of this haul is going to be inspired by a girl that I watch on YouTube every once in a while. I don't have like everything in common with her, but you know, who, who does, you know? And I believe her name is Whitney and she's into like fitness and I believe she has like different fitness collections and everything, but I love her personality. She really makes me laugh. She's beautiful and she had been gone for a while and I happened to see the thumbnail that she had come back to YouTube. So I watched her video and she did her favorites. And then I watched another one and it was a get ready with me. So several of these orders are inspired by her and I will link her channel down below. One of those is, and I'm pretty sure it was her that suggested this. I wanted to order this a while ago and it was sold out. It was kind of like the rage and then I never got it, but it's a Huda Beauty powder in cupcake. So instead of being like the pound cake that I usually use, this is going to be a little bit more pink toned. And I have it on today for the first time and it's so pretty, it's so pretty. Now I have on something else that I'm gonna show you, but I'm hoping it doesn't get everywhere. It got everywhere. Okay, so here it is, but I wanted you to see that it's not like, oh, it smells good, but it is fragranced. But with that said, I don't even remember it when I put it on, but it might be because it's familiar to me, but it's not like I smelled it anymore. So don't let that stop you, at least try it but it is so pretty. It's very brightening and it is not really, really pink. So that I am happy to try. Another thing she suggested is the Rare Beauty Happy Soul. 
bronzing stick. I have used this now two or three times and it is very pretty, not too dark. I don't even know if this will be dark enough for me in the summer, probably so. But like today when I put it on, I tried to kind of run it up on my cheek too, to kind of give that whole, not just contour, but bronzer vibe. And it is very easy to blend out. It's kind of just like an easy, easy product. I must have like a little bit of like wax or something in it because it is very smooth. It's not like using a, foundation stick or something like that. Next, this is something that is not new, but it's something that I'm wearing today. I made two videos to get ready with me last week. I think I made one Sunday and one Monday that you guys never saw because it is so hard to do a video and the colors look true, but it be lit up enough to see everything. So, and I, I think one of the days it was cloudy. It's been cloudy here a lot. So when I was watching that footage back, I just noticed that I don't really need a lot of coverage, but I'm not the kind of girl who can just wear a tinted oil or a tinted moisturizer because they're too oily. So I tried to find, and if you guys know anything like this, I would love to find a medium, not medium to full, but just like a medium coverage foundation that would even my skin tone a little bit. I don't need a lot of heavy coverage and dry down. So I remembered that the Chanel is kind of like that. So I used it today. I went out on a limb here because I normally don't like to use foundations I haven't used for a video, but I just wanted to try it. And the shade I used is 30 beige. And this is actually, I got 30 beige and 50 beige because this is what JLo uses when she does videos saying what she uses. And I think it's pretty good. I love the finish of it. It is pretty matte. And I like that because I will be shining by the end of the day. So I'm just hoping that it holds on. I've had it on now for, I would say about an hour and so far so good. I actually applied that with a BK Beauty brush because sometimes I think when I use my sponge, it might put it on a little heavy. And that might be why I get such breakdown and stuff on my nose when I wear my sunglasses because I look around and everybody else is wearing their sunglasses. So I don't know why. It might be that my nose is just so bony or something, but I have used this. This is a just purchased on a whim. I don't even know what made me, it might've been in the new section, but it is a Sephora sponge. And look at this. It's kind of like the best of both worlds. It gives you the flat side. If you're like me and you like putting on your foundation or whatever with the flat side, but it gives you this side to kind of go up under your eyes. And it's very, very soft. You know, some of them are kind of, they're either too soft or, <laughs> or they're too bouncy or too firm. This one is just right. I think you will love it. So if you're in Sephora or you're placing an order, I don't think it was expensive. I've already got in my head that I'm gonna order another one because good sponges are hard to find. Okay, let's go on to this beauty, the beauty professor, Rachel. I mean, does it get any prettier, any sweeter? I mean, I just love following her. If you don't, you need to follow her on Instagram. She is very inspiring as far as fashion, her hair, her makeup, and her family. I'm just one of those people, just good all the way around. She has come out with a new lip mousse. I've got it on today, and the color is trench coat. It says, the sense of versatility is exactly why I named the latest all natural lip color collaboration trench coat. A melange of pink, nude, peach, and beige that adds volume and dimension to the lips. This is the shade that I make when I layer an array of my favorite hues. It instantly brightens the face and immediately pulls a look together. I agree. I put this on as soon as I got it. I love it. It is so pretty and it's very all natural, like the name is, products. For those of you that like clean makeup, I think you will love it. It's kind of like a whipped mousse and it smells sweet, almost like candy. And it is just, see how it's not really matte, but it's not glossy. It's like a satin mousse, I would say. And it is just beautiful here. Like really a solid application, just gorgeous. So I was curious what lip liner I was gonna wear with this. And yesterday I just happened to go into Sephora 
I was looking for something else that they were out of, and I can't remember. Oh, I know what it was. I went in there for something that I did get. Okay, but they were out of so much, you guys. What is it? Is it still the pandemic? What is wrong with everywhere the stock being just gone? I mean, even the grocery store. The grocery store, not as much as Walmart. The Walmart grocery section. <laughs> They've been messing with my thin ribeyes. I mean, we're having to like, you know, stalk them. But anyway, I digress. These are the two lip liners that I got. I wanted Pillow Talk Medium or something, but these are the only two they had left. And it is Walk of No Shame and Hot Gossip. And I will put those both with a swatch of this up here. I started out with the Hot Gossip because I didn't want it to be too bright. And then when I got it on, I thought, you know what? That walk of no shame is going to look good with it. So I did what all lip lovers do, and I used every one of them. So I have on the Lip Mousse from Beauty Professor, trench, is it trench or trench coat? Yeah, trench coat. And then both lip liners, starting out with the lightest one and then going back in with the darkest one. That is very common for me. I do that a lot with Matt's It and Matt's Mind. I'll start off with Matt's Mind and go over it a little bit with Matt's It. I'm telling you, like I always say, your best lip combinations are gonna come from several different products. And a lot of times they come from putting something on, not really liking it a lot, blotting it off, and then putting something else on. It's just the way it is. So congratulations to Rachel. I hope that you guys will go over and support her. She is a beauty in every way. Okay, so going on to some more lips that I ordered. I think it was when I went to Sephora one time in like, I don't know, Charlotte or something like that when I went to a Nordstrom sale. I saw the Summer Fridays and I grabbed one. And you know, you think, oh, another lip conditioner, big deal. You know, I love my City Beauty and I still only use my City Beauty Clear at night because that's, I just love it. It stays on forever and I feel like it plumps my lips. But the Summer Fridays I had upstairs in my office and I just started using it. You know, when I was editing and doing work, I would reach over there and grab it and it just feels so good. It's one of those lip conditioners that has like that perfect consistency, the perfect smell, balmy, and it feels like when you put it on that it's really doing something for your lips. So I wanted to try the colors that it comes out in. It's called the Lip Butter Balm. It is vegan. Okay, I got Poppy, and then I got Vanilla Beige and Brown Sugar, and they are all beautiful, and they really do have some color. So I think if you are someone who loves to, this used to be me. I used to rarely ever wear a lipstick. I would wear a lip liner and a lip gloss. And I still like that. But I like the look of lip liner and it depends on what color lip liner you use. But I do think that these are enough color for you to use on their own and they just feel good. You will love them. Okay, so moving right along to the reason that I went in Sephora, I wanted to see what other cream shadows they had of the Charlotte Tilbury. I will have to say they did have several colors. They had like the amber gold, and my favorite color is the, I'll put the name right here. They, you know, they used to be called like Bet, Audrey, names like that, and then she switched them, so it confused me. Anyway, the one I have on today and the one that I got is so pretty. This was such a big surprise, and I really have to thank the girl that was helping me at Sephora because she swatched them on her hand because I don't know if I would have picked up this one, this is Pillow Talk. I would have assumed that this was gonna to be too dark for me, but I'm gonna swatch it for you now. I'm gonna swatch it for you beside the trench coat. But look at how beautiful that is. Hope you can see, it's almost matte, but not. I mean, it still has like a sheen, but it's not like, for some reason, most cream shadows are like very, very sparkly and shimmery. And I like that sometimes, but not every day. This one is more like a foil, I would say. And let me get close so you can see. I put it on with a brush. I actually put it on with, you know, the IT brush that I'm always telling you you need. I put it on with the small end of that IT Cosmetics brush. And then I just blended and blended because I didn't want it to be, you guys know, I don't like a red or too warm of a 
eyeshadow on me and I think it turned out great. The only eyeshadow I have on. I love it. Now let's go on to another one of the suggestions of, I'm 95% sure her name is Whitney. She was showing this beauty in her favorites. She got me right in my heart with, she said almost two cans, maybe more than two cans of Diet Coke would fit in this cup. Hers was a pretty color like pink or something like that and it fits in your regular drink holder. It's from Stanley. To me, Stanley is just like the basic thermos and thing like this. So it's kind of classic. And of course I got the black and it has the straw and you know, of course it has the thing where you can drink out of it the regular way. So I just got it yesterday. I will link it below, it comes in lots of colors and I know we're out of like gift season, but this is a cool gift I think, is a big cup like this. I love having something like that. Let's go on to a pair of sunglasses. Would any Friday be complete without a new pair of sunglasses? I actually ordered these before I ordered the ones from Amazon. If you ordered those, will you let me know down below what you think, like the blue ones and the other ones? Now I warned you that they were cheap, but I think for the price and for the look, I think they're awesome. I will link those down below too. These were not quite that inexpensive. They're this brand. Vela. I'm sure if you're on Instagram much, you probably see these. <laughs> They're not in here. But here is the box. And I forgot, I went out the, to the car to get them. And they're not going to be everyone's cup of tea. They're kind of radical, but I love them. They're very vibey, I would say. I love the green lenses. Sorry, it's very cloudy, so I've got my ring lights on. I didn't want to put the overhead light on. And I love them. I've worn them for a couple of days. And of course, they're ones that go up in your hair like this and super cool. And I believe they were still under $200 and they're a nice pair of sunglasses. I mean, these are just very comparable to any Prada, Tom Ford, St. Laurent or anything else. And I do think they're nice. So that is something that I was excited about this week. Okay, now let's go to Dean Davidson. You may have seen this already, but he has this really cool special that when you purchase, oh gosh, let me see what it says. It's the Rose Quartz Collection. Our dreamy new gemstone is here to help you spread love for Valentine's Day. Receive a free eyeshadow palette from BK Beauty with your order while supplies last and shop our Valentine's Day gift guide for meaningful pieces to celebrate self-love, friendship, and romance. So let me show you the palette first. This is the BK Beauty. I believe it's called True Beauty. True Beauty. Love it. I love that purple color. That is a good one and done summer color. Anytime you get one of those taupey, sandy brown colors, they're great. That looks like a good crease color. So a really good kind of perk for this collection. And they did offer for me to choose what I liked. So I got the rose quartz bracelet. It's got a little charm and ooh, I love that. The gold bead, it dresses it up. You know what I mean? I really like that. I like that. Very nice touch with that. The next thing is, I kind of saved this to open with you guys. I did open that one. Ooh, wow. This is gorgeous. It is the Plaza ring in the rose quartz. And what I like about it is it really looks like, I'm gonna say this wrong, but it really looks like a rock. You know what I mean? It really looks like a piece of like freshly mined rose quartz. That is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna put it on. That is beautiful. My mom and Brooke love rocks, you know, and the different crystals and stuff like that. So I'm kind of, I've seen a lot of them in my day. Okay, then we have, oh, this is so pretty. I mean, the rose quartz is beautiful. This is the, can't remember exactly what this is called. Of course, I'll put it down below but it is the pendant with the rose quartz. I would put it on, but I have on a different kind of neckline today. And then last but not least, the knockout studs. And these look like the midi. Gorgeous. These earrings are very unique in that they have the really pretty gold around them, but 
they hang really nice on your ear. They don't tilt down like that. Even the large knockout studs, which are my favorite size, but I think this is more of your, most people would probably like this size the most. And this is small enough that you can wear it in your second hole too. It is a very sweet, light pink. So if you're not a pink lover, you would still love these, like a nudie pink, like a blush, just gorgeous. Thank you so much, Dean and Lisa J with BK Beauty. This is a fabulous combo here. Okay, let's go on to some hair stuff. Another thing that my friend Meredith suggested, and I didn't know when I read it in the text, I was like, what the heck is that? She recommended an ACV, the apple cider vinegar hair rinse, every so often. So I saw this when I was on the Ulta website when I was placing the order for the body oil, and I grabbed it, and I just got it yesterday. So shampoo substitute that gently cleanses without stripping natural oils. Locks in color, helps seal the cuticle, and adds shine. Keeps pH better. Balanced. So if any of you have tried this or another apple cider rinse, let me know and I will keep you posted. I'm really excited about my new hair adventure and I've actually tweaked some things according to like the blowout professor and other things that I have learned by studying, reading, watching everything. And so I'll do an update soon and I'm inspired. Okay, another thing that she suggested, and I actually just got this yesterday too, is the R & Co Blue, which is kind of like an upper end of R & Co. I actually went to get this and the salon that used to sell this didn't have it. She said, actually, they weren't gonna carry the whole line anymore. They tried to sell me some other things. I was like, no, I went by my prescription, but I did get the shampoo and conditioner in this line there. But this is the, it sounds very interesting, the F layer deep conditioning serum. Protect and replenish the protective lipid layer that locks in moisture to give hair its natural smoothness, gloss, and ability to reflect light. The first of its kind traceless serum the first step post shower, I love it when a product will tell you what it is and when you're supposed to use it and what it does, because a lot of them don't. Weightlessly hydrates and repairs the all important F layer. Huh, okay. And preps hair for styling thanks to vitamin and mineral rich fruit water extracts and the nourishing oil botanical blend. So I will put this in my next week's setup and I guess I would use this instead of a leave-in spray conditioner. So I think that's where that's gonna go. The first thing I put in my cart was this and it's that Day Monsoon Moisture Mask. It's thick, which I like. Not heavily fragranced at all, just kind of, just kind of fresh perfumey. And then I watched someone else and they loved the prickly pear hair oil. Smooth frizz, hydrates, prevents breakage, detangles and adds shine. So I grabbed it too. And then I decided to go ahead and go for it and try the signature shampoo and conditioning treatment that goes with this line. That way I can kind of give you a, a review on their, I hate to say basic products, but I think these are the products that most people my age and a lot have a lot of people with, you know, color treated hair. I think that's what we're going to want is I don't want you to get caught up in the whole reconstructing and repairing and all of that. It sounds great, but you might not need that every single time. You may be more like me and you need moisture and you need something to seal it in and maybe you know, smooth. So I'm hoping that's what this is gonna be. Okay, this is probably my biggest purchase of the week. I have been eyeing these since before Christmas, but I knew it was something that I probably couldn't wear until warmer days and, you know, spring coming. So I went ahead and ordered them and they are magnificent. It's these Saint Laurent sandals and they are very, very, I want to say simple. Like I love just how plain they are. For some reason, they remind me of something that my mom used to wear, some type of sandal. And I, I know some of you don't, but you know I'm a flip-flop girl. The whole in between the toes, it's more me than even the straight across. So that doesn't bother me. And I love like this going across the toe. It almost looks like a naked sandal. You know what I mean? Like your foot just looks so pretty and I, love that emblem across the top. It just adds so much 
yet it's simple. I can just see these with any dress, but especially a pair of jeans and like a white tank or a white t-shirt and a black blazer or just any blouse or just anything. Even this with a pair of jeans and a cool sweatshirt, I just love them. The heel is very practical. If I had to say it's probably a three inch heel because that's my favorite. A three inch heel gives you a good, you know, the high heel look, walk and feeling but not the awkward walk <laughs> look and feeling. So these are my big purchase of the week. I love them. And when I was you know, walking around in them and trying them on, they reminded me of something. I was like, what shoes do I have that are very similar to this? And it's these, the Colt Gaia. These shoes are just beautiful. I am so happy I got these. I remember this was the Nordstrom sale before last, and it was when we first moved in this house. Like I associate these shoes with that excited, happy feeling of moving in here. It all goes along with getting my diet right and just feeling like a new person. That's what I think about when I see these shoes, but look how beautiful they are. They don't sell these anymore. I have them in the black and the pink, but Colt Gaia, of course, makes lots of shoes and they're not as expensive as like these or the high, high end, but they're just, they're awesome. They're like made well. And I wanted to show you these. I feel like I might have another pair of Colt Gaia in my future because I love these so much. And then last but not least, my friend Ariel told me about these. So you guys know I have been like into the Uggs this season along with many, many people. And that is a shoe that even if you don't like the way they look, you cannot deny that they are so snugly, so practical, and one of your most worn shoes. And that's, that's how mine are. All of them, every single pair, I love them. So when she suggested these, they're from Amazon. They are not really, really cheap, which I don't know, it's kind of reassuring to me that they weren't like $13 or something. I believe they were like $49.95. They're made by Cushion Air Memory Foam and they're real suede. They are so nice. They are every bit as nice as the real Uggs. They feel exactly, exactly like them. And I love these. I love how that goes up on the back. They're awesome. I was excited to show these to you guys. I told my mom this this morning. I was texting with her or talking with her. I talked and texted with her this morning. I was telling her I'm over it. I'm over winter. I don't even, I mean, I'll still buy jeans and a few things here and there, but I'm just, I'm moving on. I'm moving on to spring. And she said, yeah, she felt the same way. Like as soon as Christmas is over, we're thinking about spring. Okay, I'm gonna stand up and show you the last two things and then I will finally let you go. Okay, one of my subscribers and friends on Instagram told me that she has these jeans and she loves them. You guys know I am like celebrating the whole return of baggy jeans and either low to mid rise. I would say they're called low pro Levi eyes, but they're not as low as, I mean, you can look at the zipper and tell. They're not as low as they were back in the true low rise days. There's several washes. These are destroyed, but I liked that they were the dark destroyed. Here's the thing. I bought these in a light pair also, and I don't know where they are. I don't know where I stuck them. I'm bad about that. I think it was the day that our cleaning girls were coming, and I don't know if you guys do this, but it is like a full-on panic getting the house ready for them to clean because I don't want them to have to clean around a bunch of junk, so I I try to put everything up. Plus I want everything cleaned really well. I don't know where I put the light ones. So I'm sure this afternoon I will find those. And I tried these on and wore these the other day. I'll put some pictures in here. First of all, what a great price. Look at how soft they are. It's like you get the rigidy type denim, but in a soft way. Let's see what they're made of. Okay, it's the low pro straight. So they're not crazy baggy, but they give you that cool, Shannon told me about these. Thank you, Shannon. And let's see, 100% cotton. So they're 100% cotton, but they're soft. You'll love them. So if you like maybe some of the baggy jeans that were higher priced that I showed you last week, and I totally understand you do not want to spend that much. This is a good way for you to try that look. And I think we're gonna love it this summer with some sandals and a white tank top. 
or a white bodysuit. Let me go ahead and just do my outfit. Okay, so I have on a pair of Levi's that I ordered from Walmart. They're the Levi's wedgie crop. And then the bodysuit I have on is from Zara. These little rosettes that I love anyway are gonna be very on trend and in style that's coming up this spring and summer. I felt like this was a great way to incorporate them without, you know, just to see how I felt. I don't know, I thought it would look pretty in a video too. Now it is kind of scandalous. I can't open up my jacket because something crazy might happen, but I think it's perfect to wear underneath your blazer, whatever jacket, maybe a cardigan, anything and just give you this look without having to commit to, you know, a whole top and nothing but the top. I just love it. The blazer, I have wanted to show this to you so many times and I've worn it on Instagram. It's a men's blazer from Walmart. I ordered the medium, which is a 38 to 40 because in my Banana Republic blazer, it's a 38. I keep the sleeves rolled up and what I do is when I'm done wearing it, I take both of these bands and I just put them in the inside pocket. So this is what it looks like, you know, just as an oversized blazer, but I love it with the sleeves rolled up and I'm not worried about wrinkling my other blazer and having to steam it. I just know when I wear this, I'm gonna wear my sleeves up. So it has worked out perfectly. I love it, love it. And I'm so happy that I have something to show you guys because so many people ask me about the other one and I bought it years ago. And then these are my just go to wear, I could wear these every day, the Zara heels. So the Zara heels and the Zara bodysuit are gonna be on my Zara favorites page. They asked me if I would like to make a page for you guys with all of my favorites so that I can link that and you can go straight to whatever I show and there will be links on there for everything. So the bodysuit and the shoes and I have a great big order coming. I was gonna try to wait for it, but some of it is kind of trickling in. Like I got two pair of shoes, this bodysuit already, but I have a few more things coming in tomorrow and maybe on Saturday. So I'm just gonna do a separate Zara try on haul. I'm getting so excited because Zara is my thing, especially in the summer. So that will be a good way for me to put them all on my favorites page. That is it. Okay, let me show you what I have on. Of course, you saw the plaza ring. These are some rings from Miranda Fry. I will list them all below. This one, I don't think they make anymore, but it has always been one of my favorites. Let me know if you like it because I mentioned it to them and they said they might bring it back. So if you like that, let me know. I just think it's so pretty. It's striking to me and very feminine. And then Cajun shrimp, like I told you in my, I just did a video, 10 drugstore products I've purchased over five times. Really probably could have thought of more. I will link that video up here if you didn't see it. And then my Michelle watch. And then the last thing that I have to show you is new luggage. This is from that brand I see everybody talking about. I think it's Shea Mitchell's brand. It's that B-E-I-S. The smaller carry-on is actually in here. And I learned a big lesson last time I went out of town. Remember, I wanted to take two big ones. So I ordered a big suitcase, a cheap one from Walmart. Oh my gosh. Okay, I haven't traveled a lot. I mean, I've traveled some lately. I didn't realize that you need wheels that go like this and not just like this because those on that cheap suitcase just went straight one direction. And that was not easy when you're trying to navigate two big bags, get in the taxi line, going all over the place. So that was the first lesson. And then I learned that I did not enjoy carrying two big suitcases, even if I check them both in, because then I couldn't put my duffel bag on the top of the small one. It was just not a good situation. So I had to wait for these to come back in, st in stock. Another thing I noticed is I don't like black, even though I think this is gonna get dirty. It was a sea of black bags coming down the conveyor belt and I thought to myself, nope, I'm gonna stick with the pink. So I ordered 
this one and I'll put exactly what I ordered down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for being here. I love talking to you. I could talk to you every day and I will see you probably this weekend. If not, I will see you on Monday and I will leave you a video up here to watch. Maybe last Friday's Friday haul. See you soon. Bye-bye.